I am here with one of my absolute favorite people in the world, Mr. Gary Leland. Say hi, Gary. Hey, not only am I one of your favorites, you're one of my favorites. So how does that work so well? All right, so Gary is Gary wears more hats than I've ever known. And um, Gary, one of the hats Gary wears is Gary is a part owner of the Podcast Movement event. Podcast Movement, uh, coming up to Anaheim, coming up to a city near you in the future, but this year, we're coming to Anaheim in Anaheim, August. Anaheim, Anaheim. And, and tickets are how much? Three... What did I tell you? 384 or something like that? That sounds Tickets right. Tickets are in the high 300 Close to 400 range. So, now let's talk about podcasting. So, you do a podcast called The Fixer Upper Podcast. Fixer Upper Podcast. Which is one of these fan shows about the Fixer Upper show. It is. And you just do it with your wife, and it's fun, and there we go, and you're done. We watch the show. Right. Just go over there and talk about it. No script, no editing. We just talk about it, and we have a great time. I've been podcasting, what, 13 years now? First time I've ever podcasted with my wife, and it's working, and we have a great time. And... Out of all the podcasts I've ever done, this is the fastest growing podcast I've ever done. It's just mind-boggling to me how many people love Fixer Upper. I like Fixer Upper. My wife loves Fixer Upper. And Fixer Upper podcast is taking off like a rocket. Now, here's the twist. How do you monetize this show, Gary? Well, <laughs> unlike most people, I have things to monetize and then I make podcasts so I can monetize my things. I have the largest wallpaper store in Texas, Paul. The largest. Did you hear that? The largest. The in largest Texas. wallpaper store in Texas. The only one. There's only three in Dallas-Fort Worth, and it's a city of five million people. And did I tell you again I have the largest wallpaper the store? The largest wallpaper. Would it be Leland Wallpaper? Leland's. It's plural. Leland's. Oh, I'm sorry. Because it's an ownership possession. Right, type. right, right. Okay. And uh, we talk about our wallpaper store. Okay. And the thing is, Joanna Gaines, the head star at Fixer Upper, right. she just came out with a wallpaper book. Guess who sells probably more wallpaper from Joanna Gaines wallpaper than anybody in the country? So people w watch Fixer Upper. They do the Fixer Upper podcast. They learn about your store and they buy wallpaper from your store. That's pretty much it. And our sales have, I'm going to be just, I'm just going to tell you like it is, folks. Our sales have been in business since 81, but our sales have skyrocketed. And I'm talking about with a big green arrow, if I had a chart here, like in a cartoon, since we started doing the Fixer Upper podcast. And sometimes, Paul, sometimes she actually uses wallpaper right. in the show. Right. <laughs> when sometimes, she does that. But not all the time. No, yeah. But when she does, right. we actually talk about that wallpaper and yeah. give them a short link where to buy that wallpaper. And that wallpaper just goes the best wallpaper for the week. I mean, with, with that green arrow I was telling you about. Now, did you plan this? No, no. I was walking by my TV. My wife and daughter loved this show. I had never even watched it, to be honest with you. I'm walking by the TV, and my wife goes, Oh, my! Going crazy. I go, what? And she goes, Do I even use wallpaper on this show? I said, Ann? She's never used wallpaper before. I said, really? <laughs> So I took a screenshot photo of the right. TV show, the right. wallpaper, gave it to my head designer, right. said, find this wallpaper, wrote a blog post on it, sold more of that wallpaper than any wallpaper I ever sold in 30 years of business. And I said, oh my gosh, we, <laughs> we gotta do a podcast. All right, so we're with Gary Leland, number one, co-owner of Podcast Movement. Podcast Pickle. Podcast Pickle. Now, I thought that name was silly, at I was told that the whole problem with making my website work was the name. Right, right. And I said, well, w w what about Yahoo? What about right, Google? Right, Are those right. any stupider? Yeah. And there was that fateful day where I was looking at Alexa, and uh, there was a time when Alexa was uh, ranked uh, websites and how much they were doing. Well, isn't that why, by, why they got bought by Amazon? <laughs> yeah, possibly, possibly. So there was a day, dumb luck, when your podcast pickle was getting more traffic than... Mevio, which was the venture capital-based podcasting entity, podcast movement was getting more traffic. Yes, Podcast Pickle. Podcast Pickle was getting Actually, more traffic. Actually, we were ranked under 5,000 at one time. Right. So that meant we were, one, out of the millions of websites, we were like, under 5,000 is the most popular, one of the top 5,000 websites in the world. And Time Magazine? 2006, Time Ma I answered the phone, Time Magazine goes, someone goes, I'm, I'm with Time Magazine? I said, okay, and they said, we really love your website. We'd like to put you in the list of the 50 coolest websites in the world in Nepal. That sounds like I should be going, oh my gosh, I hit payday. But in my niche, the technology niche, was Facebook, YouTube, Photo Bucket, all these companies, and I'm the only one that didn't become a multi-billion dollar company. So I must be a loser, Paul, is what I'm saying here. Okay, so... <laughs> um, 
Podcast Pickle, one of the most fascinating pod uh, destination websites out there, mentioned by Time Magazine. And um, do we have an announcement about Podcast Pickle here on the live well, cast? I don't know that we can actually make the announcement, but we can say this. Right now, Podcast Pickle directs, redirects my site, but starting next week, it's redirecting somewhere new. And that's going to be the landing page for something that we're going to be able to announce very soon. That if you're a podcaster, you're going to like go, OMG, where has this been? I've been wanting this all my life. Is that so, right? The new podcast pickle coming soon. Stay tuned. Follow from there.